Hi, welcome to Man of Steel Fan Gives Hope, the Facebook page on YouTube. If you're new to this, basically I run the page on Facebook called Man of Steel Fan Gives Hope, and it's a, it's a positive page about DC. So, you know, still got this kind of shoulder thing. I've been wearing like a hot patch all day on this. You ever like woke up and you're just, I don't know, just lying the wrong way and it's just been sore for days, you know, it's just right there and you get heat patches, painkillers, it gives you the wee twangs and stuff. So, what did I do today? Not much, not much. I keep on looking at the Wonder Woman statue, you know, with the DVD. Uh, I keep on hitting my I've got the money for it, order it just now, order it just now, it's not out yet, I know, but just order it, it might go down, no, just order it, I know I'm getting it. Uh, got a, I'm still waiting to find out if one of my other relatives have seen Wonder Woman yet, because I'll gladly take them in an instant. Uh, what film did I see tonight? Uh, today, oh, I saw that Tomorrowland, that Walt Disney film. It wasn't actually too bad, so I quite liked that. Um, but anyway, back on to what was what I talked about. So I kept on seeing this post. You know, I, I, I seen posts about Wonder Woman, and there were some posts saying, "No, oh, the film's not American enough," or. There's countries out there that are disowning it because, you know, of the actress being where she comes from. Then I've got other countries, you know, saying, you know, giving a homage because she showed that country great, you know, and it goes on and on and on. And when, when you watch the film, now, and it's, when you watch the film, it's... You know, as I said before in my other videos, uh, at the very end, you see British flags waving, and you see, and you you see actually an American flag waving. Now, Wonder Woman, the character herself, is an Amazon. She's not an American. Um. But even though you have you have those characters, you have those early de de depictions of her with the stars and stripes and stuff because she picked up with Steve Trevor or something paying homage to him. You saw the stars and stripes on his plane and stuff. But I've, I've got a real problem with anybody um, being subjugated just to one country. I like the fact, you know, there was an issue with Superman being, you see we have Superman and he is, you know, he doesn't really, what, what do you call it, he's, oh, you know, he's an immigrant basically, you know, uh, he's from another planet, but the Americans took him in, he grew up in America, so that's what make him uh, American or whatever. There's, but for me, you know, staying, there was a book I read and I thought it was a, a brilliant first book. It was Grounded by Superman and then I got to the second book and I just felt the ending of it was kind of cheesy and American sort of way and, you know, we're doing everything the American way. And, and to be honest in that, you know, I don't want to sound too political, but not, American's not great, Britain's not great, right, because we're in a world just now that, you know, you've got presidents wanting to put up borders, you've got terrorism that's around the world, and people wanting to, you know, Britain's coming out of the EU, doesn't want to be a part and want to control the borders so there's not free. So the world really is, we're not all that great. Every country is not all that great. And I think there was a, a, a great TV show in America called 
the newsroom and if you watch the first episode you can probably see it on YouTube and I like to think of our heroes not being associated with one country you know I mean don't get me wrong I, I understand how some people that Americans say for instance right they, they helped and they, they gave Superman and when you watch Superman or read these comics or read Batman comics you can tell that it's, it's situated the homeland is in America but what I like is don't make a big deal of it you know try to capture the world so that they can believe that they're fighting for them too and I think at some point in the Superman movies uh, or storylines, it wasn't truth, justice in the American way. It was truth, justice in the world way or something like that. I think they tried to change that. Um, because, you know, because people could argue against that. People could argue with, you know, about, as the American way, everybody having guns. You know, is that something that Superman believes in that... that Everybody should have a gun and be willing to shoot people, you know. So, and I probably lose some subscribers to this. All I'm, all I'm saying to you is, I mean, take James Bond, okay? Now he's British, right? And uh, he comes from Scotland, or whatever. And he goes out, saves the world, and sometimes his his partner and that comes from different places around the world right and they've got a spy there whatever and you know they make the deal about him being British but that's not to say that James Bond say cannot be played by an American I have no problems with American or can be played by you know an I and well there has been I think there has been an Irishman that was a third Bond see Irish um, he only done the one film, um, but anyway, it's not important. He was also played by Scotsman, but mind you, the, the, in the James Bond films, he did come from Scotland. Uh, but you get my point. He can be played by anybody, really. Okay, as long as they say that you know he's a British agent. Otherwise, you know, if if he's an American agent, then he might as well be Jason Bourne. Okay, but we shouldn't make a big deal about who's or what nationality is playing the hero okay we should we should try and make the world a better place by pushing that aside i mean tv shows are trying slowly you know with different by by changing the sex changing the, the the sexual appetites of characters or whatever and stuff like that so they're changing it little bits trying to make you know the world open to the possibilities of uh, a diverse sort of world that we live in with so many different cultures so many different ways of life and that's all really uh, uh, I need to say it. now that wee bit is connected to this now I've, I've been avoiding this but it wasn't until I had a recent friend request and and I looked upon it and uh, something popped up so I looked into it and I thought it's not actually bad it's not actually bad and what, what it was it was uh, Patty Jenkins probably wouldn't have chosen Gal Godot to play Wonder Woman now I've been ignoring that post for a wee while the same as I've been trying to ignore posts about you know countries and whatnot and what nationality Wonder Woman should be, hence why. So I'm hoping what I've just said has, has I hope some of you maybe agreed to it, some of you wouldn't, but you know and you understand, I ha and I haven't sort of, you know, peeved you off too much. Okay, it's just my view, you can you disagree with me all you want. Okay, we've got Henry Cavill, who's who's not American playing Superman but when we watch Henry Cavill playing Superman I'm not thinking oh he's he's not an American you know I'm thinking Superman he's even Henry Cavill says I grew up in Kansas 
where you come from on the planet shouldn't be important as long as your character's backstory is there you know that's it okay it doesn't matter so that ties in with this and again I'm getting a light in my eye so I'll try and make it as best as I can so Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot have proven to be a formidable, te a formidable team in Hollywood with the duels uh, Wonder Woman capturing hearts and smashing records. However, things almost didn't go down that way. After Patty Jenkins had already been in talks to direct Wonder Woman for some time, Zack Snyder was casting for Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, where Wonder Woman made her debut. Snyder and the studio went ahead and cast the character without any input from Jenkins. While speaking with Playboy Strange, about her film, uh, Jenkins revealed that she wasn't too happy when the decision was made without her, but it ended up being a match made in Themyscira. I like it. I wouldn't have done the project if I had even the slightest problem with it. That's how important casting is. I remember when I read in the news that Wonder Woman had been cast and my heart sank. I had been talking to the studio for so long about doing it and I was like, well, that's that. I'm sure we would have made the same choice. And then I started paying attention to her and watching her and looking at her and it was unbelievable. Frankly, I think they did a better job than I could have because I don't know what I would have that I, I don't know that I would have scaled the earth as is hard to find her. I don't know that I would have looked internationally. I would have just looked for an American girl. The fact that they found Gal and chose her is a magical gift to me. They're incredibly intelligent people and they were looking for all the same things I would have looked for. All the values that Wonder Woman stands for uh, excluding from someone in an honest way and boy did they find it she's the greatest there's no one around including Patty Jenkins who wishes things turned out differently Gal Gadot is a world's new hero and we're better off for it and that's that nobody would have looked internationally for this for this woman they would have just went through the roster and went and you know my thing about you know Collider and how campy I felt and still does about Gal Gadot and now the critics are saying basically campy you know nothing um, and anyway so but here we have you know so they would have just looked at a list and they would have went okay can we just choose her can we choose her but here we go, we have Zack Snyder. Now, before I go on anymore, the last few videos I've been trying to do, I've been trying to pay homage to Patty Jenkins, okay, because, and Zack Snyder, on the same level, because they do, they do uh, deserve, sort of, equal kind of credit, in a way. And Patty Jenkins, have already came out, and then if you will see some of it on my page, uh, and said, you know, Zack Snyder was a great help with the story and then Jeff Johns came on and helped with, um, you know, the screenplay and the screen and stuff like that. And probably Zack Snyder helped with the fight sequences and stuff like that. But what Zack Snyder did was, because he was so much integrated with the DCU, because he had a vision um of the batman v superman he, he you know he had to choose the wonder woman that would have fitted into this movie and the, the vision for the DC, dcu to go forward and being such a strong fan of comic books now that can be debatable between all you uh people that are not a fan of Zack Snyder, but believe me he um 
as far as I've read his bios and everything else and his interviews, he's he's read he's read comics, and um, and he picks Gal Gadot, and what was so great about the pick uh, the choice was, yeah, he had the foresight to look for somebody with you know a different accent, somebody that might sound as though they're from you know Themyscira. Not only that, but, you know, she, she, she was wanting just the appearance as well. Maybe somebody with a, a darker tone and skin. Somebody that had, you know, the ability to carry on with her stance, fighting and everything else. He wasn't too concerned about the size of the boobies, okay? Um, and this woman had sort of... Now, he probably didn't know that she was... Uh, you know, a, a soldier, model, or whatnot. What he done is he didn't confine himself to the Warner Brothers list of actors and actresses. He probably seen her in different things, and says we'll test her out. And then that's where he saw the chemistry work between Gal and Bruce, and they kept that part. And as you probably know by now, that was the screen test between Gal. And Bruce and Batman v Superman, she didn't know the part she was going to play, she just thought it was somebody else that she was playing in the film, didn't know it was Wonder Woman. And and what a magic gift he did, and that is the the great input, and this is what she she said as as Patty Jenkins said as well. And it's and, and that's the gift that the directors have. They can go with the actress and and make them look fantastic, you know, and, and work with them and enjoy. And if you've seen Gal Gadot's in any of the, the film footages on sets and properly in a personal life or interviews, she kind of does pour out this love and this, you know, happiness and, you know, and, and she is sort of beautiful and, you know, and that's why for me we shouldn't be just confined to the one country to cast you know a, a film and, and I do believe America yes you know Wonder Woman was there for you during the World War and it was and created by um, an, an American and stuff like that um, but for me and you, you have writers in the comic industry world, right, that are Scottish, English. Right? All over the world you have writers, you know, from different backgrounds uh, coming together to go and work and, and to make these characters work. So I think for heroes to be true heroes, they should be open to all the world, that they shouldn't have the one sort of you know, boundary, so to speak. You know, we all know Superman has Metropolis and Metropolis is stationed in America. Wonder Woman is meant to be an ambassador of the world. She gives peace and this is what the heroes speak about is, you know, peace throughout the world. They don't see... Um, we should let go of what country is better. Is it America? Is it... Britain, is it Germany, Russia and everything else. I mean, I watch um, Madam Secretary. I watch that stuff. You know, and I find that, and when I watch that, it gives me hope. You know, that there is great writers out there that believe in a world um, with a president that is great. And the way they fix things is great. Okay, now this is somebody from Scotland. So when I watch Madam Secretary, I, bro, it's writing. These people know how the world works. These fantastic writers. Um, the only writing I hate, and and I and I and I've said it before earlier on, and I'll say it to to people that maybe write books here, right? I see films that it's like guys, you know, that beef up themselves. Let's like say, 
if it was me and I done it, oh, I'm such a fantastic guy that I would do this and I would because that's just I hate that, okay? So when I hear stuff about, you know, Real Britannia, Britain or Scotland, we are Scotland, uh, Scotland the brave, we are better or anybody like I just can't stand it. You know, I'm a Star Trek but but we're all equal. We're all fantastically equal. And when it comes to casting, and here we go, you look at Wonder Woman, and you have an American. Now, I'm not up, I'll need to check the history books, okay, about World War One, But as far as I was led to believe, America really had very little to do with the First World War. Now, I could be totally wrong there, but they used an American guy, American hero, and you know, in the plane as a forefront. So I mean, it must have they must have been connected to the war, okay? Because in the crowd you had that one American flag waving, okay? And we know, and then the end of Wonder Woman movie, she's I believe she's in Paris, and and that's what I got from this, right? And heroes shouldn't be. What what America should be do should be is as proud that your heroes are going off in the world, and being a hero for other countries. So, whatever nationality is playing Wonder Woman, or whatever nationality is playing Batman or Superman, is not important. What is important is whatever you know. If we have an Irishman playing Batman, you know he's not going to put on the Irish accent. Okay, but he will say he's, you know, he's an American and he's from Gotham, right? But it doesn't matter who's who's playing the character or what part of the world he comes from. What that says to me, if there's an Irishman playing Batman, is that the world all knows about the great invention that America um, gave to the world. So that's my take on it. And that's, that's how I sometimes have got peeved off when... They make issues about how some countries are not letting Wonder Woman in, or they're giving praise, or they've they're, they're giving Gal Gadot a hard time because she's from here, or um, you know. And here's Patty Jenkins now saying, you know, that that was the right move. I wouldn't have thought about that. Thank you, Zach. And that's down to a great visionary and a great director. Uh, oh, oh, Zach. And I do know where you're all coming from, Zach Vance. You know, he should be, and I've said this before in the other films, you know, his the credits of Wonder Woman should have came first. You know, it should have been written story by Zack Snyder, written and produced by Deborah Snyder and whoever else, uh, produced by, and then screenplay by Jeff, and then directed by Pi Jenkins. Wonder Woman, okay, so then we know, you know, I, and uh, because it does, it does deserve some credit to the, to the Wonder Woman thing, but that is, let me know what you think in the comments, as I say, I'm all up for an American playing James Bond, I'm all up for uh, an American playing the Doctor, you know, um, just as long as a, you know, just as long as a with character. The only problem that I've got with him, with the Doctor, and I've said it before, is is like a a female playing the Doctor. You know, oh God, okay, the feminists and the women are shouting, "How oh, was why 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 the Doctor was a woman?" And for me, it's just the women and the Doctor's Tardis um, have always been the one that's got the heart. It's like Wonder Woman, basically. They're the ones that are keeping him straight, you know. And not only that, he's he's went through so many lifetimes, so many changes, and he's always been a male. And and male unknown for the ego stuff, right? You know, the 
the ones that, oh, I'm brilliant, I'm fantastic. And I know some women can be like that. Look at me, I'm so pretty, you know. But it's just the, the character of, of the doctor just shout, shout, male to me. And I just wouldn't feel right being, you know, a female in the lead. And I think some of the, the heroes and some of the strongest characters in the Doctor Who series ha have been his his partner, Rose and stuff like that. Do you know that I've kept him from going over the edge? Because even though he's... So that's only, that's the only difference. I'm going off on a tangent now. But I thought I'd read that and I just thought I'd try to explain myself and why people shouldn't worry about what nationality of, or those posts that I've seen about. Um, or it's, I wonder women's not American enough for it wasn't this and that. And, uh, I just, we know Wonder Woman is an, Amer uh, is an American creation. But, you know, we don't need to, okay, going back to James Bond, yeah, you get the, you know, he jumps off in the parachute and he gets the, the, the British flag and stuff like that, but that was like 70s cheese stuff and and everything else. But you know, you can have all that, but it can be played by any actor in, in the world as far as I'm concerned. Would I want a, a female James Bond? No, because to me, well, you can't really have it, you know, it would be um, Jemima Bond or Jenny Bond. Um, it's just James Bond's James Bond is a guy. These these characters are chosen for, you know, for for male, you know, and um, because I think if you change everything, you know, you had the Ghostbusters with the females, and and this is no why why not, you know, have the original Ghostbusters in there teaching the females and why have we gone too PC that everything now needs to be women, and I've ha made this video up before, okay, so I'm not going to go down the the gender route. All I wanted to do was the nationality of the heroes. Uh, and uh, that's all I really got to say about that. I just hope now, uh, as I say, uh, Justice is coming out soon. I've got about four episodes, four episodes to watch of The Flash, Arrow, and Supergirl. Uh, Still watch the rest of season two of Lucifer. Zombie, I'm, I'm up to date, I believe. But we haven't got Gotham yet. Where is Gotham? Gotham is not in the UK and I so much want to see the Court of Owls. You know, we've had a couple of good seasons, but somehow Gotham has not came over to this. Is it the third series? third series has not came over to, to the UK. Damn you. So anyway... Here's me, signing off. Thank you.